Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got a gorgeous Japanese colouring book for you. You might have seen it on one of my new colouring book videos. You can see it there up against World of Flowers. So it's not a huge book, but it is gorgeous. Now this one is a little bit different. We've got at the front, we've got the thumbnails, but instead of being on a separate piece of paper, they're actually glued to the cover. And the cover has a nice craft background with some printing on there in a brown line. Then on the back, we've got the outer there and again, more artwork that you could colour on that craft style card. And there's something about this book. The mandalas are really different. So these are the thumbnails of them. Because they're printed in that green ink, they're very difficult to see. So we'll look at the real pictures instead. So we start off the book with the green print in there on the title page. And of course we could use the Scan and Translate app to scan and see whatever that says. Not really interested. I don't think it's a story, so. Look at this cute little cat, isn't it cute? So they've got these little thumbnails here of what they look like coloured in. And it is just so cute. It's just so different. It's so sort of Picasso-y. I don't know, I really like it. And I think the advice that they've got there, if you scan that, that that would just be technique advice. Now, even though this is printed in colour on both sides, the actual pages to colour in are single-sided. And they're on a different paper, so this is printed on coloured paper, so you can get an idea. But there's something about these images that I just really like. They're just sort of, they're just quirky and they look like they'd be a lot of fun to colour in. So that's it for the coloured component of the book. And then here we have the uh, colouring pages. Now I've had this book for a while but I've just noticed something. The pages are actually perforated. There is a little perforation line there. So you can tear these out. Just here is the line and it's very hard to see. And you can frame them, which is just fabulous. Now the paper is an off-white colour and it's smooth. And the line art is a dull black. On the back there's room for you to write the day that you coloured it. And a little note or whatever you fancy. Or nothing at all. So they're very cute. I could just imagine these coloured and framed. They're sort of naive and they're folk arty and they're... Mandalory, <laughs> they're all of those things. <laughs> Ultimately, I just think that they would be good fun to colour in. And that's what it's all about. Okay, look at these cats, aren't they cute? They've got really thin little arms. And we've got our little underwater scene. And see, if you don't like colouring people, these sort of simplified figures would be great to colour in. And same with the hair on this lady here. And we've got our little angels. And our queen, she looks a bit stern. This looks like a lovely little Escher style maze. And I really like this one. This one, it looks like she's thinking and this is all the stuff that's going on in her head. And if that's the case, that looks like my head. And I love this one, the library. She's got all these little letters and little books. They look like little books to me. 
These would be lovely coloured in as little gemstones. And this one has a very Picasso feel to it, with the buildings very cubist. And this one has a very naive little folk village feel to it, so cute. With a little tortoise carrying all of these houses on his back. And this one's adorable, the little kitchen items. And look at the kitty cat. There's some really cute and very quirky illustrations in this book. And when I bought it, it didn't have a cover art, so I wasn't really sure what I was going to get. <laughs> and sometimes that works out well, and sometimes it doesn't. And I sort of debated whether I'd buy it or not, and uh, I'm really glad that I did, because I think most of the illustrations I really like. There's one like that one I'm not too keen on, probably because I can't do those crystals, but maybe one day. But most of them, I really like the quirkiness of the illustrations and the cuteness of them. Oh, they've got all the little balls of yarn that they're knitting off the little sheep. Yeah, so these little scenes are quite adorable. And of course we come to the end. Now we could test out our mediums on this piece of paper at the back. If we wanted to. So there we have it. The links as usual are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.